Hello and welcome back to my channel of Welshman Reviews. Today I am very pleased to announce that I will be reviewing the new The Film Vault collection. So I want to thank Fetch Publicity for getting in contact with me and wanting me to and sending me over these items and wanting me to do a review for them. So I am very honoured that they thought to get in contact with me. So I have got all four. I will not be uh, reviewing them all in this video. I will do them individually. So the first one I will be doing is number one, Vault number one, which is Blade Runner, the final cut. But yeah, I do really want to thank Felt, uh, Felt Publicity, who is representing uh, the film Vault. I will put a link to their site in my description for sending me these overs to review. These over to review because they look absolutely stunning, very big and that. So let's delve in and show the content. So first off, it's Blade. The, the first one is obviously Blade Runner, as I've said. So the artwork is beautiful. Let's have a look, quick look at the back first, because these are limited to three thousand. Not these ones, because the ones I was given are promotional items. So inside, you do get a, if it's got a beer somewhere, you do get like a glass ornament, a crystal display plaque, sorry, that will be numbered when these get released on, I think, the 12th of December. So these ones will, are not numbered, I've been told. So just thought I'd uh, pass that on to the watchers of, these, of this video. It is to you viewers. It is that these the ones I've gotten are not numbered. But if you do buy them, the ones you get from the shops, like uh, the other places that do sell these, will be numbered. So on the back, let's have a quick look. So we got all the contents of what you're getting in here. So obviously, like I said, limited to three thousand. New key art by Matt Ferguson and Flowery from Vice Press. Very good artists, but there got plenty of their stuff in my collection. I think I've done a shout out for Matt Ferguson before on some of his work. Um, I'm not sure how you say that, but acetate or acetate O ring remove from the remove for, for type free display of your key art exclusive individually numbered crystal display plaque. As I said, this one won't be. Rigid uh, clamshell box with magnetic closure. Eight collectible R cards with film facts. Re, uh, reproduction spinner vehicle design blueprint. Feature film on both 4K and Blu-ray plus special features. So as your usual stuff on the back here. Yeah, bit of special features. The warnings and that, etc. So we have the spine by there. Blade Runner, Film Vault logo. 4K and the 15 and the Warner Brothers. So nothing on the top or the bottom, but on the other side then we get the exact same. So let's have a look on the front. So we get the beautiful artwork on the front. We do, it is absolutely stunning. It is, let's take a closer look at that. So you do get a nice slip cover. The Blade Runner is on it, like they said on the back. And then you get the beautiful artwork, which you can see more clearly. It is absolutely stunning. You get a little bit on the spine as well. It's kind of a little bit of a wrap around. It is. Get a little bit of a wrap around, but it's, it looks like it's kind of the same picture as the front, just a part of it. And then on the back end, we get Harrison Ford and the Blade Run and the cast and crew. But there it looks like it is. So very nice, beautiful, nice thick card and a nice magnetic uh, seal on the side. So yeah, very nice artwork. I do like uh, I do like that quite a lot. And then, then we have a look inside. We get the city by there, like from the beginning of the movie with all the fire coming out. There it is. And then we get uh, Roy Betty's uh, little uh, monologue by there a little bit. Very nice indeed. Then we have a look at the contents inside. So first off, we get a nice big folder. We do. So we got the obviously the Ori, origami uh, unicorn on the front, which is a staple to these movies, especially the first one with the fun, the beautiful artwork with the ring hitting it. That is some stunning, stunning artwork again. And then on the back end we get 
the company Tyrell, the logo. And then we get Dr. Elden Tyrell, more human than human. So again, some beautiful artwork for there. And then when we put that to one side up for there, and we get out the contents. So first off, we get some very big art cards. Very nice as well, nice gloss. So we get a few pictures. And then I'm not going to read all that. So if you like to pause it and read that, you get a little bit of uh, facts about the movie as well. And beautiful artwork on the back, which I will show last, right after I've done that. So again, another one, the fight scene. And then we have the Voigt uh, Camp Machine. Deckard's Bathroom. The City Streets. The Metro Cab Taxi. And there's the Spinner, the police car. And then we got the poster of the movie then. And that and all the uh, people that were involved, it looks like, and what it won. It won three uh, BAFTA awards in 1983. And then we go back to the place, Police HQ. But if you have a look at the back, we get uh, like a little promotional art, a poster for it, and then some artwork from the movie. Beautiful artwork. Very colourful in some of them. And a little bit of script but there. Looks like the fight scene that is, it looks like. So yeah, absolutely stunning art cards. They are very nice, thick and glossy. And then we get the blueprint of the spinner as well, which is very nice indeed. I, I like when they um, introduce stuff like this into the vehicles, the blueprint of the vehicles, especially... Uh, some of the um, more unique vehicles you see in movies. So you see it a couple of times in some uh, releases of other uh, movies. But yeah, very nice indeed. And I like that a lot. I do. A nice little addition to add to it. So we put them back safely in its folder. Or envelope, how you want to call it. And then we have a look on the inside again. So let's do the plaque first, the little crystal plaque. So like I said, let's move that. So I can get a nice little focus on you. So we get a nice little thing. There's Deckard but there. So we get the logo on that. So nice little thing you get with it. You don't normally see this with other sets. So it is kind of unique. It is. But yeah, like I said, there's no number on this one. On the other ones, you will get numbers as seems this is more of a promotional item. This The ones I've got. But a beautiful, beautiful little uh, crystal uh, ornament there. A little display. Good weight to it as well. It's a heavy set, to be honest, the whole thing is. And it's beautifully made. It is. So we put that back in. And then we get out... The last thing which is the blu-ray i know a lot of people are a little bit disappointed that um this does not come with a steel book i'm not that disappointed i'm not that disappointed with it at all i do like different kind of sets they don't all have to come with steel books and this is a very nicely made set indeed so you get a kind of like cd holder thing which has a slip case with a bit of artwork on the front but there blade runner the final cut a little bit more on the back end, kind of a wrap around all the way around. But there it is. So very nice. And then we get kind of yeah, a CD type of thing. So let's have a look at the artwork. So got a bit of the I Ruth Howard's character, Harrison Ford's deck, and then the other side of the eyeball over there. Which don't matter come together, but as you can see, it you can. A little bit and then on the inside get a little bit of the city we get the 4k disc 
which I won't get out because you can see the background. Oh, I'll tell you what, I will actually. There it is. And we get a Blu-ray disc, which I think I'll, they do look different to previous designs of the CDs. So I don't want to break them. So there we go, get a little bit of better look. But there. And then we have pretty much the beginning of the movie, I think. This comes up at the beginning of the movie. So I'm not going to read it out again. But Los Angeles, November 2019. So yeah, very beautiful set. It is, like I said, it's still out there to be pre-ordered. Um, coming out on the 12th of December, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I really do like these set. I was looking to pick them up, actually. So I think I got a little bit lucky with them getting in contact with me. But that is beautiful set, beautiful artwork, and yeah, that will look lovely up on your shelf. It is just for the artwork alone, it is. But yeah, absolutely landed with these sets, and they are brilliant to have in your collection. And I look forward to seeing if they do actually bring some more out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. And once again, I really do like to thank Fetch Publicity for sending me these over to review. And I will see you next time. Bye.